Brawl news! We've got some stuff to talk about today. Guys, the Brawl Stars dev team may have already given us the date for the next Brawl Talk here as we just got this season 10. It's insane. And of course, a few other things I'm sure you guys are going to want to know about. Guys, if you enjoy what you see here in today's video, consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. So getting into our first bit of news, with the release of season 10 yesterday, several people noticed quite the significant change to the Brawl Pass season timeline. Starting with this season, we have 47 days and 18 hours remaining until season 11, so far, far shorter than what we're normally used to with a 70 day time period. Now I saw quite a few people surprised by this, but it was explained in the most recent Brawl Talk by Danny and Paula saying that each of these seasonal updates would be coming out every other month, the very first Monday of that month. One note to the Brawl Pass season. It will be shorter than before, so now every new season will start on the fourth Monday of every other month. So of course, the season 11 update will be coming out on Monday, March 7th. Now, I know season 10 just came out, but I think it's pretty dang significant now that we have a set in stone schedule for each of the season updates, so we don't have to predict every single time. We just know when they're coming, right? It was kind of the same way before, seeing that we had a countdown each season, but they literally explained that it's coming out on the first Monday of the month every other month, so that's pretty dang cool. Now, because of the shorter seasonal update time frame, people also realized that the daily Daily quest token amount was increased from 100 to 200 each one. So with the time frame shortened, we also got an increase to how fast we can progress through all 70 tiers, which is really, really cool, right? We can get the content much faster. I'm a huge, huge fan of the change that they made here. It makes things feel much more fast paced and snappy, which I feel like is always really, really good for any mobile game out there. It keeps people entertained and engaged if you can get the content much faster, right? Moving along to our next bit of pretty dang exciting news. As we all know, with these most recent seasonal updates, we've been getting exclusive pin packs for those who purchase all the skins in that update. And I'm not gonna lie, these pins are looking really, really good. As well as the skins are just really, really good for season 10 here. We have Sway Master Barley coming out in 18 hours, then comes Orochi Edgar in seven days. And then finally, we have the LT Grow skin coming in two weeks, 14 days and 17 hours. And seeing that we're talking about skins, I was gonna bring this up later on in the video today, but it just fit better here. As you guys can see, Frank tweeting out six hours ago, 982 people unlocked the Nyan Nita skin on day one of the new season. Congrats, you mad folks. I'm not really a Power League grinder or anything like that, so seeing people get it literally on the first day is mind-blowing. But next up, getting into probably the biggest bit of news that I have for you here in today's video, taking a look at the official Brawl Stars Twitter page, we've been seeing a ton of season 10 content coming out here as of late, but a tweet coming out two days ago, no sneaker is powerful enough to handle his kick. Fang arrives tomorrow after tier 30 in the year of the Tiger Brawl Pass, so this was to promote Fang's release. But in this photo, several people noticed a very interesting detail, and that is another calendar. Guys, these are notorious for popping up in some Brawl Stars artworks in the past, giving us significant dates right around the corner. As you can see, this is his training calendar. The most important date circled here is the 26th, and seeing that this month only has 28 days, we can assume that this is the next month, February, which also has 28 days in the month. But as you can see, we have other dates here marked on the calendar in different ways. We have underlines on the 12th and the 13th, as well as red dashes through the 16th, 17th, and the 21st. As of right now, it is so dang hard to say what those other dates might mean, but I'm pretty certain that the 26th is a Brawl Talk for the next season's update. Brawl Talk coming out on the 26th, then we have some time for some sneak peeks, then we wait a few days, and then the actual season comes out. But then it begs the question, the other dates on the calendar, I think it might might have something to do with an update that falls in between both seasons of the Brawl Pass. I don't know if they're going to keep up the same exact schedule, even though we have a smaller time frame in between each seasonal update with an update coming in between. But if they are going to do that, which would be crazy, those dates might make sense. But the 12th and the 13th lands on a weekend, Saturday and Sunday, which is normally when we get Brawl Talks, right? Or significant information when people aren't busy with work 
life or school and stuff like that. 16th and the 17th lands on a Wednesday and a Thursday, maybe content that is coming out. And then the 21st is a Monday with some time in between being 18th, the 19th and the 20th. So really strange, maybe more content coming out on the 21st. I don't know if the dash marks represent like actual content coming out. Maybe the underlines means information coming out. As of right now, it's really hard to tell. I would love your guys' ideas or theories as to what these dates might be correlated to. But thankfully, as time goes on, we might be getting some clarity when it comes to these dates, and I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on these things here if we do get any additional information on it. But I would assume the 26th, a brawl talk. Also, before we move on, Star Park popping up once again. I swear to goodness, Brawl Stars always tries to find some sort of opportunity to put it in any artwork, dude. But while we're still on this most recent update, I thought it'd be pretty dang important to go over this post that came out three days ago. May the best brawler win. The Year of the Tiger season starts on Monday with a really awesome animation. We have like a tournament being announced here to different characters in this season 10 universe here. We have nine Diane Nita, Fang, Swaymaster Barley, and the El Tigro skin competing in a tournament. They're all walking up to the Star Park gate. They're ready to fight, and we have 8-Bit greeting them at the entrance saying, Welcome! to the tournament. And then they get teleported, it seems, to a different plane. It says 3, 2, 1, fight there to 8-Bit, and then we're hit with a 2B continued. So guys, it's pretty dang safe to say that we're dealing with some lore here with this season 10 of the update and more parts coming to this animation. I don't know if it will be significant to lore here in Brawl Stars, Star Park, or anything like that, but we'll just have to wait and see. By the way, I don't know if it's just me, but that 8-bit segment at the very end of this first animation gives me really, really strong vibes of when we had that 8-bit mini game implemented in the game. During that time, Star Park lore or just Brawl Stars lore was pretty dang hot. We were getting hit with a lot of really awesome info when it comes to that. So hey, who knows? We might be getting something in the realm of that with these animations to come. Getting into some additional information on that, like I said before, I believe we have two more parts after this. We have this guy tweeting out J. Juan, but thanks to Google, we have translation here from Korean to English. I fell in love with the memories of a 2D fighting game after a while while making it. Please look forward to the next two parts. So this guy must have helped with the animation here, so he confirms that there's two more parts coming. Lore! Let's go! And while we're still on the topic of kind of lore or star park here, this is a very big long shot, and I don't know why I'm bringing it up in the video. I just personally found it pretty dang interesting, though I'm not believing it or anything. But on this post that I posted to Twitter some time ago, we had someone comment here. Again, very, very hard to believe seeing that we're taking this random person on the internet's word, which we shouldn't do, but it's still interesting if you do choose to entertain it, which I highly suggest you don't. We have Fat Staffy 22 saying, I had nowhere to post this. I met the Star Park investment actor. He said that the Star Park video was filmed in Australia, and he said he is getting ready for another video. If you use this, Ray, please mention me in a video. <laughs> so of course, again, there's no evidence. There's no nothing here. We are just going on what this guy is saying. His word, a random person. But with that 5% chance that it could be true here, it's really cool, right? It's pretty dang interesting meeting the investment guy and saying that they're working on another video. I guess only time will tell if this guy was correct. And if he is, I'll be the first one to say it here in a Brawl News episode. <laughs> but wrapping up things here in today's video, getting into more fun news. As you can see, Frank tweeting out some time ago, we've ranked nine in YouTube's annual viewership ranking. Brawl Stars is just behind PUBG as well as League of Legends. Amazing what we achieved together with our community in less than a year. Guys, isn't it hard to believe that Brawl Stars being a mobile game is rivaling viewership with big, big games out there like League of Legends and PUBG just barely behind them? It truly goes to show how great of a community that we have here in Brawl Stars if we're this in tune with the content that they're putting out in the form of Brawl Talks and other fun animations. It's really, really cool to see. Moving along to 
more fun news. As you can see, we're over here on YDE's Twitter page. We have a rank 35 push and achieved. Guys, Feng was pushed so fast. These pro players got him into rank 35 in hours after he was released. It kind of goes to show how good he can be. I've heard a lot of people in the community say that, of course, Grom is the better brawler of the two being released, and Fang is kind of middle of the pack. But my goodness, the proof is kind of in the pudding here. These pro players just ripping through these ranks, pushing faster than someone like myself could get a rank 30 done. It's nuts. That's right, YDE got his Fang to rank 35 faster than I got my tick to 1,000. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that, dude. <laughs> and then ending on a little bit of sad news here. If you guys watched my video yesterday, you'll know that I purchased some power points for Fang in the club shop for 60 club coins. And because of that, I am literally seven club coins away from the Moldy Mike skin. I've been dying for this skin. I can't believe I am this short from it. It's one of the worst feelings in the entire world. I feel out there. You free to play players, I'm sure this is the exact same feeling when you're just gems away from a brawl pass and there's literally nowhere else where you can get this currency you just have to wait patiently though you're so dang close guys i want this skin so bad <laughs> But yeah, everyone, that's just about it for this episode of Brawl News. Hope you guys enjoyed it or found it useful. If you did, make sure to slap a like on it. Have an absolutely fantastic day. Take care.